Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGem007, and today we're looking at the G-Warp plugin. So this is one of the best, if not the best, warp plugin that I've seen. It's got so many different features and so many different permissions and commands. It's really awesome. So to start off, we're going to do forward slash G-Warp red, and this will teleport us to the warp red. Uh, we're going to go to warp blue and green after this. And as you can see, there's an awesome message which you can customize and there are particle effects and sounds as well. So that is a brief look at what the warps look like. You can do so much to it. There is also a home feature. Now this is cool as well. You can set multiple homes, you can delete homes, you can update them, all that good stuff. So first of all, we are going to create a brand new warp. This one's going to be yellow as it's on the yellow block. And the way we do that is set yellow. So we can test that and do forward slash G warp yellow and then we can even customize it by changing the effect and choosing from this long list of different effects. There's clouds, critical, magic, lava, all of that good stuff. And we're gonna choose the, um, let me see, we are going to go for the portal effect. Um, see what that looks like. And then if we do four slash G warp yellow, we will see there is a small uh, particle effect. Uh, we can change that if we want. So we can change it to a heart particle effect and hopefully that looks a bit better. Yes, there we go, that looks much better. So you can try all of these out and see what, which one is your favorite. Then if we do forward slash G warp list, it will give us a list of all of the different warps, the visitors and the owners. And then we can even delete a particular warp if we don't want it anymore. And there we go, it's gone. So then if we do forward slash G warp help, this will show us all of the different commands. So as you can see, you can create list, warps, change the welcome name, change the owner, lock warps, all that good stuff. So if we do force us to warp welcome and then the warp name followed by a message, we can use color codes and format codes, uh, which is really awesome. So we're gonna just put welcome to warp yellow in a yellow and orange color. Um, so there we go. And that's in fact the wrong color, that's purple. So we're gonna change that to and E and hopefully there we go. So that looks pretty good. And then if we do force us warp yellow, um, we will go straight to it. So you can do four slash G warp, you can do four slash A G warp if you're admin or four slash warp uh, is the short version. And then if we do the lock command, we can lock and unlock the warp if we don't want other people going to it. And if we do four slash G warp warps, it will show us all of the warps that we own. And if you do the update command, it will update the position of the warp. So you can change it without having to delete it and make it again, which is really useful. So you just do this command and then you can change the spawn location of the warp, which is really awesome. Now if you do G warp and then sound followed by a warp, uh, there is a long list of different sounds that you can have um, to make your warps even more awesome. So you can choose whichever one you want. Then if you do force slash G warp owner and then yellow, it will say I am the owner of it. But if you're an admin, you can perform all of these commands plus a few extra um, to be able to uh, change the owner by doing forward slash ag warp and then set owner for warp yellow and we're going to just um, give it to a guy called test um, so that is how you change the owner if you want to you give it to your friend or whatever um, but other than that it's pretty straightforward all of the admin commands are virtually the same as the normal player commands if we do forward slash g warp home it will teleport us home uh, we can create a new one by doing the set command and obviously using the update command again we can go from uh, home one and just move it to a different home. And then if we list them, we can see the different home names and the coordinates if we uh, really need to. So that is pretty much everything in game. It's a really fantastic plugin. It works really well um, and it is awesome. It's definitely the best warp plugin out there. So what we're gonna do is have a look at the config file and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel in the file manager. And if we go into the GWARP folder, we will see these files. So up at the top is the language file. We have two languages here by default. We have the English one and the German one. Maybe the developer will add more, but just choose whichever one uh, appeals to your server. So we have all of the different messages that you'll get in German. And obviously you can change the, uh, the names, you can change the format codes and any of the text in here. Um, and down here we have the two dot data files. So we have the warps one. This just saves all of the data that we did in game and the sounds and the messages and all that good stuff. So if we go back and then go to the main config.yl, there's not too much in here, uh, but you can change a few things. So up at the top, you can choose the language. This is English, EN underscore EN, uh, whether you want to check for an update when you join the server or reload, the default warp amount for each player, and the cooldown as well, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, whether you want to use the short versions of the commands, th those are shown on the Spigot website. And then down here, the whether you want to warp in your world or go to multiple different worlds. So um, that's pretty cool as well. Then you can change the min and max password lengths for the warps and the admin warps. Then there's a few bits about using homes, so the cooldown, the default home amount, and the name length as well. Then down at the bottom we have the warp effects option, so the offset, the speed, and the amount. Make sure you don't set this too high or low, or it could mess up. And then information about the warp sound options as well. So that is everything in the um, config. There isn't too much in here, you can just change all of these numbers, change the amount um, it is listed on each page, so there's really not too much important stuff in here, but you can customize it if you want to. So it's a fantastic plugin, it's probably the best warp plugin I've seen, it's very easy to use and it just looks awesome with all the different effects. Uh, if you want to download it, there'll be a link in the description. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around, there'll be a link in the description as well. And that'll be it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.